Hello guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you for being here. I am so excited to watch a movie with you today. This one has been a long time coming. I am watching Stargate. I feel like I've been watching quite a bit of sci-fi lately. That's maybe just because I'm making my way through Star Trek, but I'm kind of excited to compare and contrast this one with Star Trek actually. Recently, during a live, we had a DVD poll and we pulled four movies and those all went on a poll and people voted live and the winner was Stargate, which is exciting because this one's been highly requested for a long time. Now, the funny thing about Stargate is I remember watching some Stargate, but the TV show with my dad when I was a kid. I've come to find out that that was the TV show that came after this movie called Stargate SG-1. Who's a nerd now? But I remember like the big blue portal thing and I can see that man guy's face and I remember it being very entertaining when I was a kid. I mean, I never watched anything in order or anything like that, but I remember kind of watching this with my dad, which is the same thing with Star Trek Next Generation. So I am just having a lot of nostalgia with both of these things. I know nothing about the movie other than I'm assuming there's a big blue portal. I don't really remember much about the world building or anything like that. I just remember a few characters and I know that James Spader is in this. So I haven't watched a ton with him on the channel. I watched The Pretty in Pink. He was like a very young douche canoe James Spader in that one. And then he was actually in something I watched recently and I didn't realize it was him till the end. Oh, it was Lincoln. He was one of the investigators or guys, and he was actually great in that, and I didn't recognize him the whole movie. Anyways, I am excited to see this and see if anything sparks nostalgia or memory for me from watching this as a kid with my dad. But like I said, that was the TV show. I don't know if there's any similar actors, what came what, you'll have to let me know. But yeah, Stargate, new world. New planet, let's do this. Okay, remember, if you wanna vote on polls, get early access and have full length reactions, you can check out my Patreon here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, here's the bell. Let's watch. James Spader. I don't like chanting, guys. Why does this feel dark and evil all of a sudden? 1928. Yes, fantastic. come. Is that the portal? Present day. Which was when? Inside the pyramid, the most incredible structure ever erected. There he is. He's young. Well, his discovery was a fraud. Well, I hope you can prove it. Well, who do you think built the pyramids? I don't have any idea who built them. <laughs> the point is not who built them. The point is when they were built. We all know new geological evidence. It's so mean. Air Force, what's this? What is this? The locket. That's the little girl. Jackson, those are your parents. Foster parents. What, what is this all about? A job. Translation. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Want to prove that your theories are right? This is your chance. It seems like he's got nothing to lose. Mrs. O'Neill. Mrs. O'Neill, is your husband in here? Yes. Do you think we might be able to speak with him? You can try. Did I know Kurt Russell was in this? I think someone did tell me that. Excuse me, Colonel O'Neill. I think I forgot We're from General that. West's office. They you lost their son. That you've been reactivated. How'd he get like that? His kid died. Accidentally shot himself. Oh my gosh. Creek Mountain, Colorado. I guess I wasn't expecting this to be on Earth. <laughs> I don't know. Why can't I remember? I... Cold? Allergies. <gasps> I feel you, my friend. What is this place? Hey. Put your missile sign on it. Don't worry, it's been completely converted. Okay, Jack. Hello. Hello. Where'd you find this? 
These are Plateau 1928. I've, I've never seen anything like this. Now, the inner track has the classic figures, but the outer track is like the cartouche in the center. It's got writing unlike we've ever found before. Might be some form of hieratic or maybe cuneiform. We, we've used every known technique. That's a curious word to use, eh? Is that an adverbial? Sigimenev. Oh, sealed. Excuse me. Uh, what, what, what are you... What are you doing? not coughing. <gasps> For all time. Who the hell translated this? I, I did well, this should read, a million years into the sky is Ra, sun god, Stargate. Well, so, why is the military so interested in 5,000-year-old Egyptian tablets? My report says 10,000. Well, that's a flat top. Egyptian culture didn't even exist. Yeah, we know, but we found something a lot more interesting. It's aliens. Mm -hmm. Colonel O'Neill, I think you owe me an explanation. Why are you here? Why did they bring you on this project? I'm here in case you succeed. Opening the Stargate. Astrology? All right. I have a feeling these people are gonna take over. So you think you've solved in 14 days what they couldn't solve in two years? Anytime. Rare. These figures that you would believe to be words to be translated were, in fact... He's so helpless, I love him. Star constellation placed in a unique order forming a map or an address of sorts. Find a destination within any three-dimensional space. Six points, an exact location. But to chart a course, you need a point of origin. There's only six symbols in the cartouche. Well, the seventh actually isn't inside the cartouche. It's just below it here, a little pyramid with any part of that. He did it. No, that symbol isn't anywhere on the device. All right, well, what device? Show it. What I know James Sweeter best from is that one show. I think they called him Red. He was a criminal and he was so, um, not like this. What is that? It's your star game. Monitors up. Mitch, you want to bring up the details on the center monitor, please? Why didn't they tell him about this? Hold it. Wait. Hey, 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 don't! Oh. Two figures on either side, praying beside a pyramid with the sun directly above it. It was in front of us the whole time. Programming seventh symbol into computer. So they built this based on that other thing they found? It's under the cover stones? Yes, my father found it in 1928. 79%. Oh. This was under those stones. This is as far as we have ever been able to get. Breakers on hold. Override manual. So they've never been able to open this or make it. Itself. Can you believe it? The beam has locked itself onto a point somewhere in, in the Kalium galaxy. It, it has mass. It, it could be a moon or a large asteroid. Where are we on that map? The blue dot. It's right, Jackson. It's on the other side of the known universe. <gasps> this is the information the probe sent back to us. Whoa. You can clearly see the gate on the other side. Both gates must have functioned as a doorway between our worlds. These readings tell us it's an atmospheric match. Barometric pressure, temperature, and most importantly, oxygen. Another Earth? These markings are different. They don't match the symbols on our gate. Once on the other side, we'd have to decipher the markings on their gate and, in essence, dial home in order to bring the team back. Based on this new information, I don't see how we can do that. Well, I could do that. Are you sure? Positive. That's bold. You're going to space, Jackson. You're on the team. <laughs> He's a delight. <laughs> I found it with Stargate when I was a child. It has brought me luck. You can bring it back to me. Are we leaving like now? If anybody has anything to say, now's the time to say it. <laughs> How many of you are going? And it all depends on Jackson to bring them back? Here we go. Go! What if your hands travel and not you? Jack, 
Jackson! It's all right. It's over. Jackson, just listen to me. Keep moving. It wears off in a minute. It's almost like what happened in Contact. Remember when, like, when she dropped down on the ball? Three teams, let's go. Uh... <sighs> Conditions are similar to inside. I want to take a look around. Kowalski, you ready? Kowalski? <laughs> Isn't that one of the penguins' name where it's in Madagascar? Whoa. I'm guessing they don't have contact with, like, they can't, like, talk back to, um, Earth. That's who built the pyramids. Start working on the Stargate. I don't know, Freddy. I I'm gonna need more time. This is a replica of the Great Pyramid of Giza. We're not gonna find any hieroglyphic inscriptions. We really need to look around more. Your job here is to realign the Stargate. I can't. You can't or you won't. I can decipher the symbols on the Stargate, but I need an order of alignment. Now, those coordinates were marked on tablets back on Earth, and there must be something like that here. I just need to find it. What do you mean, find it? You didn't say anything about finding anything. Well, I assume the tablets would be here. I mean, right here. You assume. You're a lying son of a bitch! You didn't say a word about finding anything! Whoa! What's this about? Is he an alien? Isn't there something you should be doing right now? Like getting us out of here? Good one. That worked well. Guys, this seems fishy. Base camp is up, sir. That's yucky. You okay, Jackson? Kowalski, you got these? Uh, Get away from me. <laughs> A village? People. Slaves? Can you fathom? You're on a different world. And they're not going to speak the same language. You're the linguist. Try to talk to him. Maybe that's universal. Hi. What the hell did you say to him? Nothing. Hey. Hmm? It's okay. Hmm? Ah! Ah! Sima Sai! I have no idea what happens now. They saw the locket. I know him. Water? Inviting us to go with him. We were looking for signs of civilization. Obviously, we found it. You want me to get us back home? This is our best shot. This is the same material as the Stargate. Tell him to keep that area secured until we get back. What's the colonel up to, though? What was he doing in secret? Oh my gosh. They're not, um, incredibly advanced, it looks like. Like, looks like Tatooine. Wow. So the whole city, do you think, goes and mines and then... The Eye of Ra. It's the Egyptian sun god. They think he sent us here. Yeah. I wonder what could have given him that idea. Ra. 
Uh-oh. Ready, say again. We have to abandon base camp! We have to abandon base camp! Get the ladder back! Just grab it! We have to wrap Like crazy dust storms? Oh my gosh. Wolski, Brown, do you read? Interesting. Hey, Jackson. I don't think we should eat any food here. I know, they might consider that an insult. <laughs> Well, we don't want to offend them, now do we, Daniel? Huh? It's a chicken. It's a chicken. Funny wee. You said that was an Egyptian symbol. Would you say then that it might stand there? If they know one Egyptian symbol. You want by Yaka? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Seems like writing is forbidden to what? They want me to go with them. They're not gonna roast him, are they? Please, no more. I'm fine. I'm I'm clean. I'm. <laughs> I thought you were one of the other. No, oh, they can't understand each other at all. Oh whoa! I you can understand that. It's universal, I guess. No, 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 no. You don't. You don't have to do that. Maybe you should go. Uh, I wanted to thank you, thank you. I'm very happy, Daniel. Daniel. No, uh, I'm, uh, Daniel. I'm Daniel. Sherry. 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 Pyramid. It's okay. Oh, there could be customs and things that they have no clue about, and then... Earth, you know, you know the symbol? You've seen this symbol? Seen. <gasps> uh, what's going on? I can't see. Is something what landing the on them? On? Something did land on them? <gasps> okay. What the heck? Some kind of creature? This is like alien! He's taking them out one by one! I wish they would just stick together. <gasps> Turn on the lights! Yeah. What? Okay, it's Slayer. <laughs> That's pretty fabulous. He's very sad still, isn't he? Of course he is, but... <sighs> now let's introduce smoking to these people. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> uh, you're right. It's pretty stupid. Yeah, No! <gasps> Dangerous! Shouldn't he have told the other guys where they're going? Bakarev sent him to Paryev. Taparev? What? Taparev? Taparev. Taparev. Nedjet? Nedjet? Neda. Tiu. Tiu. Yes. Tiu is yes. Uh oh. Are those masks they're wearing, or are they real, like, animal predator people thingies? What am I seeing? We're looking for Jackson. Jackson, the guy who wears his jacket. He's, uh, he's got, like, long hair that comes down. No. <laughs> pa! 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 Chicken! 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 This is pretty incredible. Thought you couldn't what? speak their language. <laughs> it's an ancient Egyptian dialect. Once you know the vowels. Just answer the question. 
Well, I mean, you just, I just had to learn how to pronounce it. Look at this. It says, a traveler from distant stars escaped from a dying world looking for a way to extend his own life. His body decaying and weak, he couldn't prevent his own demise. So he traveled or searched the galaxies looking okay. for a way to cheat death. He came to a world rich with life where he encountered a primitive race, a species which, with all his powers and knowledge, he could maintain indefinitely. He realized within a human body he had a chance for a new life he apparently found a young boy it says as the frightened villagers ran night became day curious and without fear he walked towards the light Ra took him and possessed his body parasite looking for a host he appointed himself ruler he used the Stargate to bring thousands of people here to this planet this mineral is clearly the building block of all his technologies he can sustain eternal life <gasps> fearful of a rebellion here Ra outlawed reading and writing he didn't want the people to remember the truth I think you better take a look at this that's who we saw in the coffin with the nails? That's it. That's what we're looking for. They must have hidden it here in hopes that one day the gate on Earth could be reopened. Where's the seven symbol? What? It's worn off. I can't make it work without the seven symbol. Can we just try a bunch of different symbols and hope it works? Mm, that's different. Watch out for the creatures. Do the boys know what this creature is? Why are we going to the Stargate? I can't make it work. Stay right here and shoot anything that comes down that ramp. What are you looking for? It's gone. What the crap? Put it down, Jackson. I'm very confused. <sighs> what is that? Okay, it is a human with a big, big wolf mask, right? Raw. So it's kind of like the mummy. What is that? That's a bomb, isn't it? That's what you were looking for. What'd you come here for? Not a lady with nail. Ah. What? They've got magic or something? Wait! Uh, why is he surrounded by little boys? Don't talk. I don't talk like it. Colonel! It's me. You alright? Oh, they didn't kill them. Where's Jackson? So he did! Him shout! I wish they would have a translate thing and tell us what they're. Why? Do, do these, do the wolf raw people come often, do you think? Do, do they know the... We really need to find a way to communicate. Okay. As much harness the power of that amount. Why does he have to talk like that? Is it a he? Ta 
Soy mi, mi ruido. Me llamo Rubio. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, poor Daniel. Just, just a regular guy. He's really. Shouty. Rihu, ya ya shif sahue, sep game. Skare, nabewa, yin katwa soy nib. Yes, I love that they're telling us what they're saying now. We can't let this happen. I want you to know what Daniel told me about where our people came from and why we can no longer live as slaves. Yes! Revolution! Give him a wink! So what do you think? And they're not exactly special forces, but they sure were eager to join up. We heard me send them all home. There's no place for these kids to go. Anyway, we could sure use their help right now. For what? Revolution. Huh? To do what? Why don't you just tell them everything? Why don't you tell them about the bomb? What's he talking about? My orders were simple. Track down signs of any possible danger. If I found any, blow up the Stargate. Well, your bomb is his now. And tomorrow he's going to send it back to Earth, along with a shipment of that mineral they mine. It's going to cause an explosion a hundred times more destructive than that bomb alone is capable of. I was going to stay behind alone and blow up the Stargate, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's the gate on Earth. That's the one that we have to shut down. You're absolutely right. But since you don't know how to get us back, we don't have that option, do we? Well, you have to find the seventh symbol. It's got to be somewhere. You would accept the fact that no matter what happened, you would not be going home. Don't you have people who care about you? Do you have a family? I have a family. No one should ever have to outlive their own child. I don't want to die. Your men don't want to die. And these people here don't want to die. It's a shame you're in such a hurry to. Also, we should probably save Earth from millions and millions and billions dying. So this guy created Earth, they're saying? He's pretty evil. What's I to know? <laughs> Husband, you say so. You to say my Nedijanen was soy. You say did I think that's right? The Marionak. He was just trying to be respectful. Say Kadak. Arwu Nanache. Day of our victory. Three moons. This is gonna be the seventh symbol? This is a symbol for this planet. That's it. What are you doing? I found it. What are you talking about? The seventh sim. We can go home. We're going home. Get back! All right! Zahim! We do not run on the one! We bring disaster. Father, we will not live as slaves. Give me my A Toro tea. Give me my It's your sushore. What are what is this caravan pretending to be? What's happening up there? How you doing? Hmm? <laughs> that was a big trouble in little China moment. How you doing? How do they open the door? We're dead! We're talking like that! Well, what are we gonna do? Oh, Where are we going? Where are we going? Crash it! Destroy what are you it! Doing? Completing this mission. I thought we agreed to dismantle the gate on the other side. And you will. That's your job now. I'm gonna stay here, make sure this goes off. What about all the villagers? You got seven minutes. Daniel! No! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
are you doing? Wait for me. Oh, he's gonna go put her in the bring her back to life or thingy. <gasps> but how is he gonna get back to Earth and the other guys back to Earth? Without, they can't do it without him. Maybe they'll blow open the door. Gosh, things are not going well for us. Kowalski, we gotta do something. Hey! Hey! Let me see, buddy, you. Hey! Um. Are you waiting for the sound choice? Sucking Daniel's yeah. brains! It seems like it's gonna be too late. My regards to King Todd, asshole. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. Take away their freaking sticks! Uh oh. He's just running away? I can't stop it, they got it rigged. I've got an idea. Come back? I always knew you'd get us back. <laughs> yeah, right. Later. Thanks, Daniel. You sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. You gonna be all right? I'm gonna be all right. How about you? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Tell Catherine this brought me luck. I will. Are they gonna destroy it from the other side? He'll never go back. I'll be seeing you around, Dr. Jackson. I feel like the army on Earth, there's no way they'll destroy it. They'll be too curious, right? <laughs> Hence the TV show. That was exciting adventure. Okay, that, I liked it. It reminded me of like The Mummy with Indiana Jones, but mixed with sci-fi. It was an adventure, a sci-fi adventure, and I liked it. I feel like James Spader and Kurt Russell, like, you don't really picture them together, but it worked. The problem is I'm wanting more. Like I wanna know what now with Stargate. And if Ra created Stargate and created Earth or his civilization, like what does that mean now? And he was just like this kid, or he was this guy who wanted to live forever and then like went into a kid, is that right? I don't know, I gotta, I gotta understand it a bit more, but it was a very um, engaging story and a, a cool idea of this like interplanetary travel. Like that's like us if we discovered like another earth out there and 
were able to travel to it and found this civilization that was being enslaved. Like, it's a very cool idea. So cool that I just might watch the TV show, you know? Should I? My dad would be pumped about that, probably. Because what I remember about the TV show is I remember them, like, going back to Earth through the portal. So that means that they probably can travel to other planets. Adventures ensue. Okay, yeah, I, I actually really liked it. It was, for a 90s, I thought the effects were really good. And, like, even the civilization that was there seemed real. And, and we got a love story. So what else could I ask for? I liked it. I really liked it. Thank you so much for watching along with me. I hope to see you again soon.